Good morning and welcome to this video introduction in a car. I'm not going to call it a micro lecture because that's not what it is. I've really been impressed by so many of the videos that I've seen in the last week, uh, last couple of weeks that, uh, that you all have made. And so I thought I wanted to add mine to give you a bit of an introduction to me that you wouldn't get week to week in the chats that we've been having. So uh, I thought I'd add mine. And mine includes mainly an observation. And by the way, it's in the car because uh, all the videos that I taped last night included too many ums. So if I say too many ums, you're not going to see this one either. So if you are watching this, it means that I managed to have a conversation with, uh, with this iPhone in front of me without saying too many ums and uh, while keeping my eyes on the road. The observation that I wanted to make is that one of the things the principal thing that excites me about St. Gregory of Nyssa is that it's a church that's not gathered around a uh, an iconic, charismatic kind of leader. It's a church that's gathered around the leadership of the Holy Spirit is what I'm sensing. And that's the kind of notion that I think is going to be whatever the next church is primarily. I think obviously we've seen that there's, there's no one notion that's going to encompass what the church needs to be to be both faithful and relevant in the future, in the rest of the 21st century for instance. But what excites me about this notion of church is that it makes possible the encouragement and the, uh, and the, the risk of the ministry of God in all of its members. I know Sarah Miles is a very different kind of person because she has uh, uh, exotic kind of life experiences uh, and her journalistic gifts allow her to communicate what God is doing in her life um, through her participation in the dance at St. Gregory um, to a, a much wider audience than might be typically possible. But I uh, not even Sarah Miles and what she's done in the food distribution ministry, the, the food pantry, uh, food sharing ministry is what I guess I'd like to call it at St. Gregory. Um, and by the way, I don't know if you've noticed, but the food pantry, the food sharing ministry at St. Gregory is very different than, than what most of us might be familiar with, with the, the paperwork, the forms, the filling out, the control, that sort of thing. Um, all you got to do to receive food at St. Gregory is be hungry and show up. And uh, there are no forms to fill out. Um, it's a very collaborative kind of venture. It's a very respectful kind of venture. It's a, it's a free farmer's market is what it is. And anybody shows up, and they not only show up to get food, but people um, of all walks, of, of all different kind of places in life, participate in the ministry as well. So the lines are, are blurred, um, like they're blurred at St. Gregory, between who receives the, uh, the help and who gives or who offers the help. Um, so many of the people who come for food at St. Gregory are uh, people who, within a few weeks, are helping to um, distribute the food. Uh, and that, that movement has not been limited to St. Gregory. It's spread all over San Francisco, and, and it's spread all over a network of like ministries in churches all over uh, the United States. And I think that was made possible by this notion of church as perichoresis, of welcoming people into the dance, of encouraging them to dance the dance that God is calling them to dance. So that's my introduction, that's my notion, um, and, and I'd love to know what you think about uh, particularly this element of the notion at St. Gregory. It's not about style, not about liturgical style. Um, you know, I, I get that, you know, Arden makes a really good point in his post this week. I get that, you know, this isn't really going to catch on, you know, the, the old world ancient style of, of liturgy. But what I, what I think will catch on is the idea that all people are necessary and vital to whatever it is that God is doing uh, in, but particularly beyond the walls of any church community however we want to construct or imagine those walls. Um, that, I believe, 
is catching on, has caught on, and will be what the church looks like in the rest of the 21st century and beyond. Um, So I look forward to seeing you today. Uh, God bless you. Bye.